All right, everyone, this is Charlie Six Sulu back once again with another episode of Warhammer 3. I want to say Three Kingdoms because I recorded that a few hours ago. <laughs> uh, both these campaigns are coming to a close. I will be putting a poll where I won't name which Total War game we're going to be playing, like which game it goes to. Just going to randomly put something on there and go, all right, choose one. So I do hope you enjoy. And that happens. But first, let us get the party train rolling. Uh, yes. Let's see if I can actually get uh, towers this time. I do have the battering ram. Heroic victory. Do I lose anything? No. I think I give it one... More turn to get the siege towers. Blood for the blood uh, you! Where do I want to put it? I definitely want to put it in fucking Mordheim. Chaos's favorite fucking city. Control Fjord. You. Alright, with that done, let us... God, I just realized how much this... Oh, God. Thank you, uh, the greatest boy. The dancing boy. The dancing king. <laughs> All right. Legions. Let's get one more turn in so they heal a little more. I don't imagine Balth. Sure. I don't imagine Balthasar actually coming out to attack, because I don't think he thinks he can win. So I should be able to do it next turn with my boys a little more healed. Thank goodness. I stopped for a second, I was like, ah, oh, shit. Where are you going, troll boy? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you need, Orc? Could. No. Sorry, the great green prophet. Oh, interesting. You say I lose this. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Mr. Crowboy there. He's done a decent amount. He's actually in the Western Border Princess. I'm surprised he just didn't stick around the bad lines beating people up. Huh. I don't like that. Echo Chamber? Uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Burn it down, buddy. Don't don't play games. Alright, that's there, and that's there. Am I just going to retreat back? Or am I going to rotate this way? What's in this Helmgart? He's in garrison. I know what I'm going to do. Boom. Let's do that. start forming our way down here do 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 once my sword is drawn it 
up let's give you yeah, that would actually be nice for what work I'm gonna send you to fight darkling prince I adapt I think I can uh take that quest battle I wonder they never stood a chance That's diplomacy. This one. Sazel. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's do it. We were covering uh, uh, neutral territory thanks to Nurgle. Thanks to his blessing. That is... So, by Marathi's machinations, Azazel has traveled to the realm of Selesh with slaughterous intent. The Dark Prince's second in command is unaccustomed to being a pawn in the pl pa plans of others. Yet the opportunity to reap elven souls is not something any acolyte of the Dark God would pass. Up. Uh, besides, the aloof Prince of Damnation cannot help... Oh, okay. Thank you. Cannot help but be impressed by the lengths the Hag Queen has gone uh, gone to for such a worthy sacrifice to the God of Excess. The Prince of Damnation will gladly make the final kill. A feast of souls await. There's a Sisters of Avalon there. That's the only thing that's really scary. A lot of itty bitty spears. Let us begin. trying to get out. Yummy, yummy. Alright, everyone. We are starting our quest battle. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> 
Fighting a bunch of elves with the Silmeshi army. Ooh. This can get dangerous, but the three units that really are gonna... Our infantry is probably gonna tide us over. Chaos Warriors with uh, Hellscourge are really tough. It's just gonna be a slow, grindy battle. What's gonna make it a lot faster is these Marauder Horsemen. Because it gives them... Yeah. That increased speed. And they have Devastating Flank, which is really useful, which is why they're coming this way around. Try to get around them. Moving the Forsaken off to the left flank, while my right flank gets the Marquise of... Maso... I'm going to have to learn how to say that word one of these days. I'm not going to, but I'll, I'll have to think of learning it. Uh, Zazel, and of course, the Chariot. A lot of debuffs right there. Zazel moving up, and, uh, yeah, not a very good idea. Because that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Run away, Zazel. Forsaken, trying to widen into this left-hand flank, as you can see. Some Forsaken getting into those boys. We'll be hitting the Sisters of Avalorn, which is the biggest threat. Forsaken getting into the remaining Spearmen. Which they are winning, they are taking a lot of fire for it, but the Sisters of Avalorn are going down, so that is well worth it. Off on this left-hand flank, less so. Uh, I'm using the Javelins to try to skirmish them down. Not winning very well. They're trying to find a way out. Glade Runners are going. Zazel's coming to help. The main bulk of the Chaos Warriors with Hell Scourges are moving up. We're up to go into the infantry. Ooh, and it's frozen. There we go. Sisters of Avalorn completely broken. Moving now into... He's still chasing, getting a good kills on the archers. There we go, now he's moving on to the archers. Ripping apart those archers. Yeah, wood Elves and High Elves together against Slaneshi forces does not go well. Chaos Warriors going in. Rotter Horsemen getting kind of wrecked, getting completely wrecked. Uh, not very, going very well for them. This Glade Cannon uh, Captain sitting here being a pain in the ass. Zazel moving back forward, same with uh, the Marquis. So wait, Forsaken winning. I wasn't paying attention, I could have hit that, but I didn't. I decided, or the AI decided to go there. Right in the back, and they're about to be just obliterated, that's for sure. Marquis getting in there to hold them in place while the allowing the cherry to go on through out any issue. The cherry is going to come on in and do his damage. Moving into this sucker. That was a dangerous spell right there. I think it might be this one. Yeah, it's this one. She has the dark magic. But uh, I gave him the hysterical because I he was in a good position. He is no longer in a good position, and he's out of control. He is not going to be surviving. He just regains control, but it is not going to make it out either way, so leave him in do a little more damage. Uh, the chariots are now completely stuck. Somehow, they cannot move. Despite spearmen were being the ones holding them up, uh, and they got stuck on spearmen. Over here, the center is overwhelming them. God. Just look at this massive range. This is the pain of my fucking ass right here. 
Zazel trying to run but getting stun locked in place. He's now hurting. So it is completely up onto the uh, Chaos Warriors that do poison damage and uh, have whips. Painful, painful stuff. The chariots, which were on its way out, they were routing this way, have decided that they are instead going to route this way through all the enemy troops. Then they rally right here so they can get shot. As you can see, they rally and immediately start getting shot. <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah, Eternal Guard. Trying to break through just tanky units. White Lion's less so, but this is Silver and Guard, Silver and Guard. Silver and Guard. <laughs> Trying to break through that, Eternal Guard. It's a pain in, in everything. Trying to get the chariots away so they survive. Basically just a bunch of range fire coming in. Ooh. Not going very well for us here. However, the benefit we have is we're incredibly tanky. Uh, I know, funny to say Whistle Nash, but Chaos Warriors, 132 armor, and are shielded. And they have the ability to inflict poison, which means uh, melee units aren't doing as much damage. Zazel is trying to come back in at this. Now he was, now he's running away again. <laughs> Chaos Warriors coming around this flank right here. We're going to now jump them into the back of both this Eternal Guard and this Wild Rider. Break them. More spells coming in. Brutal. Well, you know, this Eternal Guard still at 15 Legion. Uh leadership. He's poisoned. He's being attacked in the rear. He's losing. He's at 41 men. And he's exhausted and he still has 41, or 15 morale. As such, these Chaos Warriors are going to have to back off and move out. Try to hit some units. And right into these archers. Now moving on to the Glade Guard. We're saking coming back in. This unit 37. They got 115 kills. Uh, it's desperate plays. You have we have to wait, knock out this range because some of them have a decent amount of ammo left. Some of them are low, but once they have ammo left, are going to be a problem. Some of these are Glade Guard, which are still very good units. go hitting them forsaken getting in here right into these versions of glaive guard or glade guard cutting them down good news it does force the uh, lore of life and the high mage back and I'm bringing the chariot back in <laughs> only one left it's charging through and then getting the hell out of there Zazel doing as much damage as he can. Getting surrounded. This unit is now going to go down. Another Lash coming in. Zazel has some pretty decent damage with 1600. This Chaos Warrior into this unit of Lothorn Seer Guard. Luckily, because of that, a lot of these units start routing, allowing us to break through here. So now we just have to deal with that. Zazel's now got to run away because he's at 785 health. And that is not a good place to be. The 
Chaos Warriors breaking around. He's going to come back and get another whip. There we go. Trying to save this unit of Forsaken, which is now at 203. One left, five health, and he's not going to get saved as he's going to drop in a second. Yep, there he goes. Zazel so trying to hold out long enough for these archers to die and these guys to be weakened. But he's going to have to run now. Time for him to go. Getting way too dangerous for him here. Especially because he's now at 16, 600 health. Lore of Life now being hit with the beat stick. And this infantry still holding in the middle. There is a spearman in there now. Silver and guard on the flank. But another unit of chaos getting into these glade guard, trying to silence as much as they can. Even getting behind. Those hell scourge is actually doing a lot of good damage right there. Yep, they're routing. There we go, they're gone. Another unit of chaos warriors making their way. These guys are just going to go right into the flank. They don't have Devastating Flanker, but they do, at least, are going to do a morale debuff. Yep, as you can see, that just routed and shattered. Hopefully those other Spearmen follow soon. They're gone. These Chaos Boys are faster than the High Elves, which is nice for being... That's the benefit of Slash, is they're just faster. And the weapon begins again. Over here, pretty much everything's routed outside of... These lines are still fighting. Spearmen have 19 men left and still hold them. And there's the High Mage as well. The two lords are still alive. They are going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> that they're routing. These Lotharans should join them in a second. Soon it will just be the lords left. You have the Spearman Gu. The white lines are sitting at five. Now eight leadership. Four. Come on, white lines. Route. The Silver and Guard routed before the white lines. I want you to know that. Now the white lines route. These are just the two lords in there. They'll be quickly surrounded and overwhelmed. This is it for them. Looks like the high magic. Who's going to go first? High magic or dark magic? Oh. Dark magic goes first. That is the battle one. Done and dusted. Was a painful one. Lost our marquee. Ended up going down. Even though they were in the realm of Slaanesh, they were just summoned to a different part of the realm of Slaanesh. But let's get back on the field now that we have the Demon Blade. Alright. I need that replenishment more than anything. Yep, thank you, Azazel. Azazel Lost two units. Alright. Till then, let's get two more Marauders. Those Marauders can go. 
traditional because I'll move them to Forsaken. Oh, shit, I didn't realize that. Yeah, let's do... Every act of the arcane empowers the god of magic. Let's do three with the... Uh... Yeah, let's just do with that. There we go. Captain of the Ecstatic Legion. These don't have it, right? Yeah. They're close. Close, close, close. Well, we got another battle to do, and hopefully this one does a little bit better. Nice. Uh, let's do... Yeah. Well, though I don't have any active gifts, so... He's the only one that wouldn't matter. Alright. Let's continue. Oh, he already did what he wanted to. Alright. Let us face Skelt. Alright. I'm I'm gonna do well this time. I promise. Probably not, but I'm going to do well this time, I promise. Uh, continue the siege. I don't know yet. Oh, there's only one way to find out. Yeah! Alrighty, we have... Uh, to be honest, though it's not his last time, definitely the crushing of Balthazar Gout. He's level 31, that is crazy. Uh, this battle pissed me off a little bit, because uh, instead of doing AI control like I normally do, it ended up being a my control, and then Pathfinding screwed the shit out of me. Let's fight. Also, uh, these towers are being hit by cannons, and they're not going well. Forty-one. Yeah. Down to two. I try to get my boys out. There's no way. There's no way they're getting out on top in for in enough time. So I'm trying to get them out as fast as possible. Yep. There they go. They're down to forty-six men. They're at twenty-eight percent. I'm just going to try to get them out now. Or twenty. I'm trying to get them out. I'm ready for this. Eleven. Nine. They just take to so much fire, they still die. <laughs> Got a few more guys out, but they die. Uh, Marauders of Corn, of course. Not taking that provocation lightly. Not having shields, they're the best units to lead the way. As you can say, see, it's going well for them. Aiming for those gates. Now the Nurgle guard comes in, I notice. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, three thousand on those gates right now. Got my bloodthirster sitting at the side. I'm trying to break down this gate. Try to break the road to try to get some help to them. But at this point, the corn army's moving forward. No point in uh, sticking around because there's no more towers to be had. healthy. Two thousand. The reason I hate that 40 is because it's so hard to see anything. Thank God for that uh, <laughs> gatehouse. The way is through. They're going on in right into these huntsmen. Poor boys. They got plus 60 armor, so now they're at 119 armor. Not helping them too much. Ogres go. Nope, gotta go deal with that then. Go to deal with the crossbows. Empire Hero coming on in. Actually, popped off Empire Hero. I just saw Deadly Onslaught. So I tried to get him into here. 
so he can do some damage. So he gets in, all right? And then he leaves. He just walks the fuck out and tries to go here and then gets stuck. Yeah. I'm trying to get him to support this flank over here. Do some more damage. The Bloodthirster is coming over there to go beat up some boys. Uh, that wizard is not holding up well. Hey, he's a bright wizard. He should be fine against fire. Yeah, my boys are hurting bad. I'm like, come on, get to them, get to them, and then they're not. Then this gate is opened. I've given them the order to enter, and instead of entering, one unit will. The rest have decided, no. We're going up the ladders. Leaving this flank completely unprotected outside of one unit of marauders. I'm like, oh, great. There you go. I'm trying to get him back into there. He re They refuse to go through that gate. Like, I think the entire game, no one goes through that gate. Yeah. So I try to get that giant out of there. I do luckily do so. I know. Yeah, he needs to get the fuck out of there because he's being beat up. Bloodthirster's going to chase off Balthazar. I just tell my, all my infantry to make a mad dash. At this point, this is what I need. is I need to get my infantry in to protect my boys. My lord, which was supposed to, didn't. Got my demon prince flying in of Nurgle. This guy is my favorite. He, what he does is he just goes here and he just sits here. We got the sun coming in, the black sun. Make some good damage in. It is moving away, but it has given our Nurgle boy almost 500 value off that one spell. No kills, but hey. Bloodthirster did catch up to Balthazar. Balthazar is going to take some real damage right now. Our boy finally got in to go support. So he's going to hurt them as well. Try to protect these dragon ogres. Do have the knights waiting in the wings for a little longer. Nurgle is now rushing in as fast as they can as well. Let's see if they manage to get through the gate. Look how, look how tough they have of a time of getting through this gate. They're getting stuck on this gate for no reason. Uh, it just drives me crazy. Where did our Manticore go? Ah, uh, not important. Blotherner well, now has to go find a new target, and he finds that wizard to be back on the field. Fleshy Abundance gets cast, keeping this guy topped off. As well as a Soul Blight on these Empire Knights, making them pretty weak. Now with the Chaos Boys coming on in to cut them down. Nurgle is going to keep moving up. Spirit Lead upgraded coming to try to take down Balthazar Gelt. So he doesn't cause any more issues. Knights of the Brazen Throne are coming on in himself. Fireball from that wizard. Ooh. Hitting Billius right there. Nice hit on him. But we got the Empire Knights coming in. Crossbows. Nurgle Demon is inside the artillery and firing lines. Doing what he can to just eliminate everything. Hellstorm rocket batteries coming in. There's that Manticore. I don't know what he did. He got... 19 gale kills. The Knights of the Brazen Soul or Throne are in, and they're going to make a nice little charge right here. Four spears. As that unit goes away, or those are actually halberds, so even better. Spears. Bloodthirster, Corn's Bloody Fist, is now going for that rocket battery. Here's little Gelty Gelt. 
still holding up up there. However, this will be his end with this Soul Blight. And there he goes, falling off. Healed by magic. Yeah, coming in onto the rocket battery now to try to stop them from firing, eliminating all the artillery. Brazen Throne breaking through. I mean, they're already at 54 kills, just with two, two charges, really. So Korn is... That Bloodthirster is going to be moving off to bigger prey. Billy is coming in along with the Great Unclean One and the rest of the infantry. This here is a bit of a blob of both Nurgle and Korn just sitting there. I see this. Maces. Some maces, some shields. Yeah, look at those big, great weapons. Trying to cut through these great swords halberds. This is pretty much the tough part. Over here has been an even tougher fight. Chaos Trolls trying to do the best they can. Uh, one of them routing off now. They do have regeneration, so they are going to heal. You'll see, they'll come back. But over here, the Knights of the Brazen Throne, up to 406 value, they're going to make a charge. These Knights are going to try to cut them off. Try to get a strong charge against them, hopefully getting downhill. They do just get that downhill charge. But the Brazen Throne is not going to play that game. These Empire Knights are going to be dropping fast. Abilis is coming on in to do some real damage. As there is a mortar firing in trying to do some damage. Just hit his own ranged. Hit directly by a mortar. <laughs> they retreat, so the brazen or the brazen throne are gonna try to move up, but the knights are gonna try to get another fight. This one's not gonna be a good charge for the knights, as they're gonna drop real hard on this. You can see just numbers dropping. They are gone. As such, it's time for the Brazen Throne. Get some more kills. Get some more value. Spearmen in the way. Taking some damage per second, and then a, just a nasty charge should finish them off, pretty much. These boys are just going to continue on down. Oh, they managed to avoid the halberds for a second. They're going to go right back in, and there they go. There go the halberds. They're going to continue traveling down, try to hit these spearmen with shields. See, I told you the trolls would... One of the trolls are back. They're healing up now. Other trolls are back doing the same thing. And... Yeah. That sound seems about right. Just decimated. That was only three managed to charge in. The rest won't charge in. The spearmen have to make their way up. Oh, here comes more coming down. At this point, there's only one thing to do. They are... They're not wanting to charge most of the unit in, so we're going to come in. Ooh, guns firing, hitting those trolls hard. It's a brutal volley. There's only one thing to do. Guns trying to get in position, trying to reload, and trying to fire, but they're not going to fire in time. As they are gone. 
They're gone, and that is the end of that. I got so pissed, man. I was like, I can't see shit <laughs> for the units. But, uh, pretty nice kills. Pretty nice kills. Uh, and basically finishing off the Golden Order. They technically still have a settlement left. Or they will be after this one. But uh, they're not going to be able to muster much of a defense anymore. <laughs> This had all, all their good buildings in it. Oh, no one lost their life, sadly. So, uh... <laughs> I was not happy with that battle. Uh, I... I probably would like a 40 stack more if I could actually see the units. And since I can't, I'll, just, I'll burn, burn it with my other army. Could occupy it and then just defend. No, I'll just do nothing. Let's see. Yeah, burning brand. Yeah, let's get the pestle and delay to say I really can't speak. And just start going down this. Plague Mark gives me virulence. That's the one I want, I think. Oh. That'd be nice. With that burned down, that up, up in itself. Almost there. Chaos is going up in Helmgart. They do have a little bit of Funkundites. Okay. That's nice. Zazel needs a bit of love. Uh huh. Uh, you need that, is what you need. <laughs> uh, unassigned skill points. Mentor. Towers, tier five. All right, outpost upgrade available. Outpost upgrade available. That's all I could build, and I don't. I ended the turn too fast, so now I'm stuck here until something happens. There we go. Thank you, Legion of Chaos, Putrid Scum, otherwise known as a very different name. Eshin has been taken by you. Alright, what else we got? I see red down there. Yes, Mors? How could you, Mors? I thought we were friends. A lot of undead boys still alive.
All right. Next up. Lord's not moved. Take their scouts. Burn it. Next turn we kill that guy. Archeon continues to push up to here. Chaos is moving up to here. Go. Prince of Damnation. He still hasn't moved. This guy hasn't moved. Forty-five percent chance here. All this forty-five. Not now. I foresee destruction. My Sigma. No. Alright, well, you're gonna just stay there and assign skill point to who? You. See the savage. Alright. Let you offer me a little biopsy sample. It should hurt much. All that gold gives you only that little. All right. This will only extend my power. Nope. Well, let's do peace first. <laughs> Where's that in? The mountain god. Damn. No one wants to be my vessel. Morath. Despoilers come. Yes. Yes, but who wants? I could. Could I really? <laughs> sure. Uh, Groth the Cruel, thank you very much for that. Yes. For friendship. Tribal Fury. Enter then. Are you after a drink? Understood. Let's get more money, because that's what I need. Northman, come. Speak. I am not known for my ability to forgive. Overlord. Alright there, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But with that, I think we're at a very good spot to end it. Imagine. Alright, so there. Taking stuff down here. Let's get you to occupy Tempelhof and you to occupy Fort. Oh, I can only give it one at a time. Okay. Well, with it done, you burned again. This is gonna fall on the Draken. Yeah, it's her again. With mostly dwarven units. Good to know. Baron Gristle Valley. I will not obey. Uh, changer. I'll be able to do one turn in that. Slaughter the sheep. What I am gonna do before I end. Now they will I could take those. 
think I could take those. Let's find out. What does it give me? Valiant defeat. I think I could win. I am getting the garrison. You know what? I think we got this. I think we got this. We're doing it. One last battle. Because if I win this fight, this crushes Kemmler into the dust pretty hard. Two White Kings, those are always pains. Kemmler himself with his big boy. But I have a decent amount of Chaos Warriors. A giant Shagoth. I got the good Hell Cannons, too. I think I should be able to do this. Alright, boys, this is our final battle. Uh, I gotta prove to the boys that I'm no coward. I might He might be a Garrison Lord... That has just been brought up to help clean up some drudges, but he's got a mighty 20 stack now, and he's got to face off against Kemmler and his ghosts. Especially because he had to run away earlier, and he's been hiding in ambush for the, <laughs> most of the uh, most of the uh, session. Of course, here comes the artillery starting to target. Missing that first shot. This one's not going to miss. Damage coming in. We even have, funnily enough, some Wood Elves to come in and help us. This this reinforcement force is nothing. Wasn't scared. I'm surprised the Wood Elves actually managed to come in. If I were them, I would have refused. <laughs> Level 43 Spellcaster. Look at all those abilities. Against a level 13. <laughs> Look at all those. What is Kemmler riding? Kemmler's riding his horsey. He's even got Wind of Death. I hope he... For God's sake, I hope he doesn't use that. Because Wind of Death would just eliminate a frontline force. Those Graveguard are getting hit hard still. Not giving them any respite. Oh, I think it missed. It did miss. One final shot. An invocation comes off. One final brutal hit. That should uh, get healed by the invocation. We'll switch target to this one. Now that they're not healing. Got Slaneshi forces, Demonets, and the Fiends on the left-hand flank. Well, the right-hand flank has my big boys and some trolls. The Shagoth is going over there as well, as is a unit of Chaos Furies that have been summoned by my lord. I have actually like this. This is to tie up these boys, try to get them stuck in place so we can hunt them down with the giant, the trolls, and the Shagoth. Now, they don't do as well against ghostly units. I'd rather want the Shagoth against the Black Knights, but you, you take what you can get, especially because uh, Gorse likes his ghost army. Barry going down for Hex Race. The Karn Race still have that. Trolls coming in to do some damage, because those Furies are just meant to die. Shagoth getting in to do his damage. And we have a right hand flank. We got the Terror Geist. Some Black Knights, some more Hex Wraiths. Demonettes, Fiends, some, some more Demonettes to face them. First in the engagement's really coming in infantry wise. It looks like a raised dead zombie. Taking on some Chaos Warriors. Brought to us by the Fecundites, real heroes. Looks like the first Graveguard unit's gonna go down. Yeah, crumbling. Over here, it looks like it's going well for us. This fight is uh, winning slightly. I don't like that fight. 
this fight's going well. Over here, we have the fiends and the demonettes, and the demonettes are there. But rear charge, take that, <laughs> take that, terrorgeist. Let's get torn apart by the crab claws. A lot of the hex rays going down. Demonettes coming here. They're losing. But we got some flesh hounds coming to go back them up. Also have the Marauders coming on in. Recently recruited. Try to deal with these guys a little bit. Beans themselves just doing so much damage, especially because that's a Fark Mosque. But, getting a flank. It's going to take me a minute to get those in. Let's check out the center fight. Bring in those flaming weapons. Try to do as much as possible. Trying to get this burning head off without just nuking my own men accidentally, which I almost did. There we go. Nuked them a little at the end. But a lot of Rowden flanking coming on in. This fight's being pretty handled. As I said, I don't like how the de Demon Ogre came in. Elves have come to help. Dryad's in. We got some Eternal Guard. It gave me a lot of trouble earlier in the episode. Some Deepwood Scouts. While well, the rest of the reinforcements... Facing off against them. Luckily, I don't have to deal with the dragon. But over here, the enemy hex rays are winning. Terrorgeist is about to go. Yep, they're all gone. This flank is cleared. Look at elves and chaos working together to go kill the undead. Uh, very interesting sight, and it's probably not going to work out for you because I am planning on killing these guys in a second. We need to burn down the forests of Ultuan. Oh, look at that over there. The Dragon Ogre is not doing well on his fight. It is crumbling out, but ooh, he is not looking good. He's down to 1400 health. So the others will come in just to make sure he doesn't die, because that is an expensive and big unit. And they're gone. White King's getting past. We also have Krell making his appearance. Krell, this, look at this big guy. He's why you actually pick Helmingorst, because he is a monster. You see him by being hit by the Dragon Ogres. Slash Force is coming on around. Gorst is still going to be tough to kill. Same with the White King. Just trying to buff them up by giving them as much fire damage as possible. Here he's in, trying to keep these guys in place, such as the White King. And not much we can do with these units, just keep them in place, use them to... In case the White King gets around or something like that. Where did I send these fiends to do? Oh yes, I sent the fiends this way, so they can do this. Or Graveguard. They were having the time of their life against the Marauders, but not anymore. As the forces of Slanesh make their way in, charge into the White Kings and to Hemlar himself. Try to tear them a new one. Over here on the Elvish side, Elves are doing their best to hold out, but they're actually not holding out very well, so we're going to have to be dealing with those reinforcements soon. Unless we get lucky, do enough balance of power tips just slightly into favor, or this fucker guy dies. This creature dies, it is over. A critical binding, he's routing. Come on, he is low. He's at minus 55, he's crumbling, and that's going to kill everything. Everything else is going to die now. Yep, there it goes. Everything else is now going to crumble, because that is a huge morale debuff. Kemlar's crumbling, even though I'm pretty sure he's still technically human. 
I could be undead. That is a victory. Our boy <laughs> got his uh, got his way back. He will not face dishonor again. I did notice something the first time I went through this. Uh, this demonette with four kills has the most value. <laughs> he has 1,800 value. So we killed some big boys. I think that's the one that went after the terror guys, then uh, Kemler. But let's get back onto the campaign map to end this episode off. Well then... Let's get replenishment. Uh, yeah. He just had to prove he wasn't scared of Kemler, which he did. He even got some elves to come out of their hiding hole to go deal with them. Oh, he's got a cast war shrine now. Nice, nice, nice. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's the army with the green knight. Interesting. Forced. Oh, there's a gorst in there, but not that gorst. It's like, what the fuck? Uh, chaos marked. Let's do a flame storm. Let's get. Buff to a melee. Oh, you can still keep going. Okay. Uh, Vile Enchanter as well. Yep, that's all he's got in him. But with these moves, I believe... Oh, I, oh God, she scares the shit out of me, man. Why does she own so much land? There will always be blood. She doesn't have the sword of Cain, right? No. Okay. Only thing that helps us out right now. Okay, she's got a good garrison in there. Alright. With that was something. Oh, I wanted to check who was down here. So down here it... Oh! Yes. Calador. Who's, who the fuck is going for the... Oh my god! There's so many armies going just for Calador. Alright, well, with that, we are done for this episode. I will be seeing you next time. Uh, we continue our assaults. Just one last check. Morathi. Anyone else yes. wants to serve me? No. Sure, Morathi? Sure you don't want to serve me? <laughs> Anyways, uh... Yeah. What's our long victory conditions? Most of those are gone. Lost Palace is all the way down there. Okay. Quintex. Is Quintex a black fortress? That would be interesting. Our fortress, black fortress, is obviously one. Demon's Gate. Interesting. Of course. Burn everything to the ground and you get the campaign victory. Uh, well, that is all for this time. Uh, got a little look on. I've got most of the stuff. The rest is just on the other side of the map. But we will be continuing this next time. I do hope you all enjoyed. Uh, yeah, when one of the campaigns finishes, uh, there is definitely going to be a queue in the chat where I just put a bunch of random shit and you got to vote for it, and that determines the next campaign. So I hope you do enjoy. Uh, that is how I will always do it, because I'm a piece of shit. You all have a great day.